today we are at the Hobart International. This is the Australian Open time and just before the Australian Open starts next week, 14th of January. In every city in Australia we have a tennis tournament and uh, no exception in Hobart. We have Hobart International and it's quite a historic event as well. We plan to enjoy the fascinating tennis today. Look at so many people enjoying the afternoon. What a view, look at this view and enjoy this view. We have this cruise ship standing here and you can see up to the heads. Sydney Hobart Yacht Race and all other cruise ships and all the boats enter Darwin River to come to the Hobart port and then we have different suburbs, Sandy Bay suburbs of Hobart and then we have this stadium here. Brilliant stadium, beautiful stadium, small one but it's just fantastic. And then to end that we have this Mount Wellington. How wonderful, this is just extraordinary, isn't it? You can't really beat this, especially when the weather is so great today. This is the main entrance and obviously we have two matches this evening, late afternoon evening. One is with our Australian Dasha Gavrilova. And Sofia Kinnan. You may know that Sofia Kinnan is Australian Open champion in 2020. And that was the year last time we came to visit Hobart International before COVID. We couldn't imagine what would happen over the next three, four years. And also those days we didn't even have any YouTube channel. So how wonderful it is now. We have a very big screen at the Queen's Domain Tennis Center and this is the last day today. A lot of people around. All the actions are back in Australia. The, the tennis is back, so people are enjoying life. First, we're going to try West End. Uh, we've got uh, general admission, so that ticket allows you to go in anywhere you can sit on the west or center or east. So we'll try both sides and look at the view. This is the stadium entrance, the gallery. And uh, obviously you will be able to sit on both sides to get a better view of Darwin and look at the setup. It's just fascinating stadium. It's, it's on the waterfront of Hobart, Queen's Domain. And this is a brilliant setup. Finally, we have got our seat and we are ready to enjoy the evening. We plan to stay here three, four hours and enjoy both the matches. Sophia Kinnan is entering the stadium now. 2020 Australian Open champion. So we know her as Gabrielova, but she is our Daria Seven now. So it will be a fascinating match between Sofia Kinnan and Daria Seville or Dasa Gabrilova, previously known as. Look at the stadium, it's just fantastic, isn't it? I'll give you a panorama view of the stadium. Those are the box areas. Obviously, you get better view from that. And then look at the stadium. How wonderful this view is. Darwin River on a sunny day. From the tennis stadium, you can see the Bellary Oval over its cricket ground. Look at this view, just extraordinary. Uh, it is the toss time. Toss is done, and the side has been chosen, and now this is the photo time. <laughs> Over 
Hobart International has been a very historic event in Hobart in conjunction with the Australian Open. It's a very unique festive time in Hobart celebrating tennis. This particular event started in 1994 and it has hosted very, very famous players, number one tennis players like Kim Kreitzer and Justin Hennen and also notably Serena Williams in 2007. Although for Serena Williams that was not a very good time, she lost I think in quarterfinals. I think she mentioned that was like bad Serena. In general, this event in Hobart has been a very unique one, not just because of the in connection with the Australia Open, but also this extraordinary setup. It's just so beautiful. Look around all these stadiums around the world, the tennis stadiums, and how many of them have these extraordinary backdrop of Mount Wellington, one side, another side, this beautiful Darwent River. I just wanted to have a very close look at the court. Now it's just very much test moment. It's six five. Sophia Kennan is ahead, and they're just sitting at the chair. Look at this setup. It's just so nice. It's going to be a very close finish of the first set. That's brilliant. Wow, that was a fantastic drop shot. It could be six on very soon. Now Gabrielova has the advantage. Wow, it's six on. Now is the first set tiebreaker. has got the first point. finished the first set and Daria Gabrilova has just won the first set beating Sofia Kinnan and it's been an extraordinary match so far pretty much neck and neck and we're waiting in the break for the second set and look at the setup it's just so pretty look at distance to Roland Garros French Open is about 17,000 kilometer but whereas Flashing Meadow in New York is 16,619 so Hobart is nearer to New York than France, Paris. Quite interesting, isn't it? Look at the setup. There's so many eating areas and a lot of people are enjoying this fantastic afternoon. We are waiting for a fascinating evening and then we'll have two matches and so it will be fascinating. Now we're going to the East Stand and so we'll have a look at the different side of the story from a different angle. The second set has started, so we have to wait before we can sit, at least for the first game. Love it in. But you are having a different view of the stadium from the east stand, and it's just so beautiful. The lights are on, so in half an hour time it will be darker, so it will be glowing. Help. On the first game of the second set. Look at the background, these are different suburbs of Hobart and the setup is just extraordinary. <laughs> so we are in the second set and Dasa is up 3-0. Now it's one-sided match and it's going to be ending very soon. Wow! 
so it's 40 15. 40 15. So it's nearly done. So Dasa is now serving, really serving for the match. Wow! So Dasa has won the match. the interview time. Thank you. Thanks so much for supporting me. It was so much fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, I hope to see you all tomorrow as well. <laughs> to defeat a player of the caliber of Sophia Kennan, a former winner here in the Hobart International, what does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. I've struggled in the last um, few years so it's nice to be back playing um, at, the, at the level that I know I can play and I was really impressed with my serving today so. <laughs> what does it mean to play in front of a home crowd and, and play a match like that? Um, it means the world to me, I love the energy, I love to give back the energy so I always love playing at home and yeah again thank you so much. And what about Hobart? What does Hobart mean to you? Um, that's a tough question. Um, <laughs> it means Miss. playing in front of this crowd. Oh God, probably means nothing. <laughs> I have a few friends that live in Bernie, I guess. <laughs> Shout out to Bernie, not too yes. bad. Well, start. Uh, into the quarterfinals. What is your process now? Um, just recovery, really. Uh, have a good night's sleep and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> well, I think that's what the Hobart International wants to see, Dasha. Ladies and gentlemen, Dasha Seville going through to the quarterfinals here at the Hobart International. we had fries and loaded and it looks delicious isn't it so this is going to be our dinner and this evening it's been a wonderful evening thanks for watching our travel videos hope you like this vlog and goodbye until the next time